Welcome back everybody or welcome if you're new today we're in the dirt street stocks here at Knoxville for the first time in 2020 Hopefully we can set a good tone this year and maybe get a win right off the start. That'd be great We were fastest in practice by a little bit But I'm hoping I could run like a low one in qualifying because the track is worn out just a little bit And the track was like super clean like brand new when I ran my lap So I think it'll fall down to maybe the ones for the pole maybe barely into the zeros Hopefully we can get a pretty good lap here though. I like this track a lot with the, uh, in any car really, but these car combination for this track is pretty good. I like it. Try to get as much of a run in as we can on this lap. These cars don't go very fast, so you gotta try to get all the speed you can out of them. I try to throw it in and just keep the car as straight as possible. That was not the greatest job doing that because I had to turn right a little bit and I kind of slid up in the middle of the corner. But you really don't want to get your left tires on the inside like curb. That will definitely slow down your lap a whole lot. One more lap. I don't hope my second lap's gonna be better here, because I don't think that first lap was that great. 168, not great. Kinda got up on the inside curb there a little bit, which I don't like. Kinda sucked it here in uh qualifying. But the track's gonna wear out and I feel pretty good when the track's worn out. A pretty good three and four though we'll see what we get out of it a little quicker one 116 i'll take that i was thinking barely into the uh zeros is going to be pull or like the low ones and that's pretty much what it was just right at the one so had a decent qualifying time there kind of happy about that because i knew it was going to fall off and my first lap just getting that run in i just overdrove turn one a little bit too much so currently we are third still got a couple people left to qualify so i'll pick it up and we're getting ready to go green in the heat races all right, so we still qualified third, so that means we're going to be number two in the first heat, and I qualified just in front of Dennis Anderson Jr. I think that's uh, one of the guys that ran uh, Gravedigger in Monster Truck, which is really cool. I always love seeing people like that in iRacing. Just, they're not in this world, but they're still in like the car world, I guess, but I think they're retired now. I believe so. But that's always cool to see. I went to see um, Monster Jam last year. Well, technically last year now. Yeah, like right before the pandemic hit. It was, I think it was in February. I went to Monster Truck for like the first time. And that was really cool. Very enjoyable. But it was here at the Buck Stadium, which is pretty close to me. I'm only like 20, 25 minutes away from the Buck Stadium. So it's not very far from me. Right, Holy outside. crap, Pace Truck. You are on drugs. <laughs> Who the hell was driving that car? All right, hopefully we can do pretty well here in, in this heat race, and maybe we can get the pole for the feature. That would be amazing. Going to be tough starting on the outside, though. That's the one problem. So the outside is definitely not preferred. We need to get a good start, get straight behind the leader, and maybe we can make something happen here in the eight laps. Because it is hard to pass here when the track's pretty new. Basically just run in the bottom and hope somebody messes up. All right, man, we're going green next One more time, time around. These laps are a long time around and there are cautions in the feature race. So the lap, the caution laps are going to be very boring if there are any. But usually this, this race goes pretty green, I feel like, because it's just so wide of a track. But then everybody's fighting for the same spot on the track, basically. But I'll be better once the track wears off, I feel like. Because I can kind of keep it right on the bottom when, even when it gets worn out. Okay, we need to get a good start here. I don't know whether they're starting second or third. I'm going to start third. Fuck it. Just got to watch the leader to go. He can go anytime. Did not get it a great start by any means. I think I shifted too late. Hopefully we can kind of hold him off here. Run this outside lane. Pinch him down a little bit. And maybe he'll get up on the curb and we can get a good run. I'll clear, I'll clear. I think he tried to throw somewhat of a slider, which is not going to work when we're not running halfway up the track. I had to go like more sideways to not get him to hit the side of me. Trying to keep my car as straight as possible, but keeping it off of him below me. I'm happy. The feature, we're starting on the inside. That's all I gotta say. We are starting on the inside in the feature, and I went way too high in that corner. Still there. Clear low, 
Because you can see how tough it is, and my car just slid through that corner. That's not good. Went way too high up the track. Okay, then. Good job holding your lane there, bud. At least we can get to the bottom now, hopefully. Maybe we can follow the nine past this guy. Definitely lost some spots there, which is frustrating. Just from starting on the outside. I know we are fast here. We are able to get under the nine too there, which is great. I went way too low into that corner. That is my bad. That eight car likes to slide up on the people on the outside of him. Okay, at least we got some of the spots back. We fell all the way back to fifth. I honestly did not think we were gonna have a better starting spot in the feature. I thought we were gonna be starting in like the fourth or fifth row. Only got a couple laps left. I don't think I'm gonna catch these guys up here. But maybe I can make it somewhat interesting if I run right on the bottom. The seven keeps going really high there in the corner. He gets a little bit of momentum down the straightaways, but I'm gonna kill him through the corners if he continues to go that high. Unless I slide all the way through the corner like that, that wasn't good. But you guys could see how like how much time we just lost just being on the outside. I'm happy we're on the feature, at least we're in the first heat. That's very helpful. That outside sucks right now. It might be a little bit better in the feature, but not much. Yeah, we caught up a little bit to these guys, so I feel pretty confident going into this feature at least. And there's not gonna be a consolation race, so it's not gonna mess up the track too, too bad. It's just the heat race that's next. Then we're going straight into the feature because everybody makes it, because there's only 15 cars in this race. Huh, that was tough. That was very tough. Good job, my car. What happened between them? Oh, they just finished side by side. That's all they were talking about. I thought he was being. I thought one of them was being sarcastic there. To be honest, <laughs> I honestly would not have been surprised one bit. But now we got heat number two. Got to watch them go, and then there's only seven of them in that heat, and then we're going for the feature race. All right, Mr. Monster Jam, we don't run cars <laughs> over here. <laughs> that is car number 14 there on the outside. Good point. <laughs> I honestly didn't think I was going to be in the same race as them. I was in the same practice last, the last time. <laughs> yeah, they're in front of the pace truck right now. But I was in the same practice, but I saw he was Division 6, so I didn't think that... I was going to end up being in the same race. He's got a better setup than the damn race cars. I don't know what his problem is. <laughs> He's always leading the field. But yeah, they were, they were talking about... Monster Jam, right? Yeah, they were talking about Monster Jam in the practice beforehand. Or what was it you used to run? <laughs> Pretty cool to see him in, the, in this, though. We'll see how well he could do starting the outside here. He's in the same position I was. So we'll see if he could finish third or better. Is there a limited number of tear offs or is it just unlimited? It's unlimited. Unlimited. I, I kind of wish that they would put a limit, like a, a kind of high limit, but like you're going to go through them in races. Unlimited? Like maybe for an eight lap heat, put like 16 on there for two a lap. And then for the 30 lap main or 25 main, what is it? 25 lap main. I wouldn't say put 50 for two a lap, put like. 40. Make it a little challenging when you get low towards the end. That would be very interesting. Dang, the three had such a good start. That was a hell of a start from him. The 14 was able to get straight down to the bottom, which is lucky for him, but he is all over the track. They are three wide for second. 11 car pulls out ahead. 10 car dives it in. He backs off. I thought he was going to nail the 11 there. There's a lot of low numbers here. 10, 11, 14, 15. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, they had a little bit of net code. They touched barely. 10 car comes up. 
doesn't really affect his car. Goes back. Oh, the he's hitting the 15 there. Everyone's getting pretty spread out now. It's still a decent battle for second, though. See if uh, 14 here can get back around the 11 back for his second spot. But they were kind of running higher. I feel like that low lane is better right now. Just because there's still grip down there. You don't have to follow the grip all the way up the track. Because this track's pretty flat in the corners. It doesn't get more banked up there like some tracks. So taking the shorter way around when there's still grip is definitely the faster way in my opinion. It works for me better at least. With the way I run. There's a little bit of slickness going into the corners. So your car might get very sideways going in unless you... If you're like just full throttle it through trying to turn it in, it might get real sideways. But sometimes I'll just like let off a little bit while going through that and then it'll stick pretty well. Or just go in low. Go in a little low, let off the gas a little bit and you can stick pretty well too. The 11 is getting away from him. Anybody else really even close? Not really. Everybody else is pretty spread out. The 11 might be catching the 3 slightly. I don't know. It keeps going back to the pace truck. Which is not what I want. Top three are somewhat close. What lap are they on? Lap, going into lap six right here. Nobody else is very close at all, so. We're just going to watch the top three, see what happens here. Because the 11 seems to be catching the three slightly. Interesting. Might make it a battle here right towards the end. Because I think they're on lap six right now, going into seven. Because they're coming off of turn four right now. Definitely have pulled away from the 14. I just feel like if what if the 11 were to run the bottom here, it is getting slick coming off of two. I can see going on the exit of two that might pose a problem running low there. But three and four definitely has more grip on the bottom. It usually does throughout most of the race because people like to follow the grip up and then there's still grip coming off of four on the low side. So if you can grip on three and four down low, you can probably be pretty good. But I do see the slick coming off of two, so it'd be interesting. You can go in low in one and two and maybe slide up a little bit coming off of two and miss that. I think it'd be more beneficial. See how the three's running the bottom? He kind of pulled away slightly, like by a tenth or so. On three and four. He's still running like that mid lane in one and two and coming down on the exit. He definitely pulled away there on that last lap. Good red, red boy. Just barely. But... We are starting in fifth here because we were third in our heat. At least we're on the bottom side, which I prefer. Should be interesting. See how this goes. Hopefully we can get a pretty good start here. Maybe second uh, was the better way to start out in. I don't know. I think I might have just shipped a little late on my heat. But hopefully we can get back to the top three at least in this feature. Hopefully it'll go caution free. That'd be great. 25 straight laps. That'd be awesome. Hopefully the feature can go as smooth as those heat. That's what I'm saying. Because there wasn't any wrecks. It's a pretty, pretty wide track. It's easy to not like wreck each other unless you just get into somebody's back left and they go spinning. Or you like come up on somebody off a corner and you guys wreck into the wall. We'll see how well this goes. Hopefully we can get a good start being in the lane with the leader now. Is it just me or does everybody else's car feel really loose on this track? Eh, it depends on where you run, I would say. It definitely Tighter gets loose. Than a, whistle. <laughs> a whistle, what? Man, I'm running more negative offsets than I ever have at this track. Oh, I don't I never mess with the offsets and stuff on dirt. Alright man, we're going I just go with it on dirt, like the offsets and the uh, steering ratio. A lot sooner. On the oval side is where I mess with the steering ratio and stuff more. Um, That's where it more matters to me. Away, uh, like I say, last season, and uh, yeah, you could only drive it down on the curb, but now this thing's the outside the fence. And he's got a thick accent. Yeah, it does move up. It just, I don't know, it just seems different for sure. All right, let's see what we can go. Like, let's see if we can homies. gain some spots here. Calm down, Ian Bailey. Got a pretty good start. We're already up to fourth. Oh, 
Holy shit, he got all the curb. I just did not want to run into him. And there's really? God damn. That's the most frustrating thing about dirt. If a caution comes out, it reverts back to the last lap. So we're going back to fifth. At least that's, that's I feel like, better for us. Actually, no. I think these are single file restarts anyways. I think I think these are single file restarts on street yep, stocks. I damn, sure did. damn. That sucks. Ooh, Danny, blah, 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 we had blah. a good restart too. Got into fourth immediately. I, 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 Couldn't get around a lap though. But then they got plowed. Could not. Could not. Maybe, maybe start. Get a lap in, that which really sucks up. for us. Get everyone going into turn. Well so done. we we got first caution on the first lap. Don't really know what happened. Somebody probably got into somebody else back there. Uh, Pretty sure these are single file restarts, which really sucks that we lost that spot now too. Looks like the 14 might have been the one that got spun because he had to come back up and get his spot. But we actually shifted at the right time and that worked out pretty well for us. <laughs> when you don't miss the shift, it's actually pretty good. But yeah, I would love to see like the tear offs be somewhat limited. Yeah, pretty much. Well, not really because we're single file now. Yeah, that's the only difference. But it'd be interesting with the limited tear offs because right the the face mask All on your helmet file. would get the so dirty at the end of it because I go through tear offs just during these caution laps. Sure you keep up this time, Dennis, and actually pull away. Oh Jesus! Oh, I keep up. All right. Hopefully, we can I get a good start. Get by the eleven quickly again. Just throwing it out there because last time that was a shambles of a start from you. Because the 7 hit that curve really bad. I was hoping I was going to be able to get around him, too. Talking about me. I think the only thing that was lagging was your brain in the right foot. Oh, jeez. Had a decent start. We got away from the guy behind us. I want to try to hook the bottom as much as I can. I just feel like it's going to work. Especially in 3 and 4, everyone might be running the high side. 1 and 2 might be a struggle, but I think 3 and 4 as well make up some time. Definitely let off, hit the brakes a little bit. Going to just about get by the 11, but I had to kind of go up on the curb to not get hit my back right from him. Okay, got by the 11 there. He kept like going a little too high to start the corner and then come off lower and he was almost getting into me. He kind of bumped me there, but it was fine. No harm, no foul. I was just trying to hold that bottom. Did not get low enough there. Kind of just got in the slickness and had to just let off for a lot of that corner. Need to go in lower in three and four. One and two, I kind of want to run this mid lane, I guess. But I feel like that bottom does work. I need to just go back to it. I need to go a little lower in the three because I'm not going low enough. I went lower than the last lap, but didn't go low enough. Like I need to do what I'm doing in one right there, going that low. Yeah, our corners are so different from them going in low. Doesn't it hurt us though? I feel like it kind of helps. Definitely a line going through like most of three and four now. So it's not that bad. Because once I get to this part, I kind of have to just keep the car straight, slide up the track. The seven's getting all up on the curb. That's good news. We kind of catch him a little bit. Kind of just slid up through that corner, but it kind of worked out for us a little bit, I felt like. Kind of kept the car straight. But I'm pretty sure what I've seen from this race, like, the, in the past when I've raced this track, the faster guys run the bottom basically the whole time. You just have to run it right. 
Because three and four, at least the straight bottom is faster, in my opinion. I'm not really catching them. Because I'm probably not running it 100% correctly. That was a good one and two, I felt like. I think I caught the seven some. Yeah, they're running really high in three and four. But they're getting a good runoff is the problem. That is the problem right there. Might have to run up there in three and four. See what happens. Well, I gotta go high enough if I'm gonna go up there. <laughs> I was not in the grip at all going in. That was a bad corner. Track's getting very worn out now, though. You have to go really high into the corners. First place car is getting a really good run off the corners. He's getting really straight early. I'm kind of just trying to keep my car as straight as possible through the whole corner. Because if you get two sideways, the engine's just going to bog down a lot. There is a lot of grip up there. It kind of just pulls your car all the way down. If you get the right turn in. Definitely going to be hard to pass right now. Even if I do catch anyone, you kind of have to throw a slider on people. I feel like. You have to get like a really good run down a straightaway to throw a slider. I feel like I'm kind of catching the 7 here. Slightly. But I've said that before. <laughs> this race already. I haven't paid attention to my lap times. I kind of wish I have to see what kind of lap times I was running on the bottom compared to what I'm running up here now. I ran an 8 that lap. Second place has blinked out. Is he going to come back? There he is. That was really bad. That was for like a long period of time. I was up where the five car started blinking. That was you. Was it? Did I? I apologize. I, just, I didn't look at my mirror to see if the guy's behind me. I'll keep an eye on that. No, you're all good. Because if you're the one blinking, everybody's blinking for you. So that's how you know when you're blinking over the other guys. But it is better to let somebody know just so they're aware of it. But he was out for like, I don't know, a whole corner maybe? Kind of like a straightaway basically. Same amount of time. Definitely catching the 7 now. Running really good uh, corners apparently. I don't know if I really changed anything. I think they might have changed something that made it worse for themselves. But I think the only way to, to pass right now is a slider or get into his outside. I don't know where I'll the three just went. Okay. He blinked. I guess he noticed that he blinked out. Seven car got all up in the slickness. This is the only track that ever happened though. Oh, rip. Knoxville's a very fun track. My car just... Protest on the way, boy. What? Why'd you come off the corner and turn right and you know someone's there? So confused. Ooh, seven's you're gonna run up into the three. The oh, I was hoping. You I, I feel like we have a second place car right now. I need to get by these guys. Really good run on the three there. To the bottom we go. Which might actually work out with how high they're running, to be honest. Oh, that got really bad one and two exit. Hit that curb, and then the slick. Coming up on you now, dude. Still there. You're clear high. Clear high. Five left to go. 
The lap cars are going to run high. That might be beneficial for me. Dang, it is so slick off a of two right now. What the hell is the 14 doing? His car is Dang, fucked. That guy don't even need to be out here. Sorry. <laughs> Crap bad. Yeah, very bad. Hang on, sir, trying to finish the race. With a two car and the other car put me. Rip. That sucks. Dang, you're not going to put her in the pit and lose open die rating over it. When I'm 2,000 plus. I think you actually have a decent eye rating then. Wow. Oh, I feel your pain, man. That eye rating is going to take a hit regardless. Yeah, I'm happy we got at least to the top. Where, yeah, oh, the three is going. Oh, oh, he's back. Definitely, I think it's quicker up top in one and two, and then I think the bottom works well in three and four. Seven to one, y'all feel good, man. I I keep leaking every once in a while and I'm just letting out of the gas so I don't run up into you. You're all good. Got way too sideways there, damn it. You're rolling in a straight line, Danny. You must have a different on the side of the straight line to anyone else. You do get so much momentum on this high side. Oh, it's a white flag, damn, I fucked up the wrong lap. I fucked up on the wrong lap, man. I'm gonna run the bottom here even though I don't think much is gonna come out of it. Oh Maybe it will with that wrecked car. Seven kinda got all up in the slick. Damn. Good race. Good race. Good win five. Come on out, Dan. Damn, at least, right at least we got the up no to the theory. top three. Because I'm happy with that because our heat was uh, our heat was a struggle. I need to go see what the hell happened with the 14 because everybody's yelling at each other, and I have no clue what the hell happened there. That was a good race though between uh, the three and the seven and I. That was a good race between uh, us three. The, the five was just kind of far away. Good race, boys. Thanks for that. But this was fun. I was like right with them at the right time. And I felt like I was the second fastest car for sure. With the three blinking, it kind of messed up some things, but it worked out in our favor at least. But I was able to hook that bottom and three and four really well there at the end. I thought the seven was gonna hit the three there. I was hoping I could just go under and uh, make it three wide there. But the top and one and two definitely was better. Let's see what happened here, because the seven's in front of the three at this point. I get under the three, and I had to battle him for a couple laps on the bottom side, but All right, watch right here. we were having a good race. Okay, I'm going to mute them, because I'm going to go back and watch it myself, and I'm trying to see what happened here. Just We had a good race between the seven, three, and I. I wish the three wasn't blinking out like that, because it freaked him out, and it just made the racing worse overall, because he had to back out of it. If I would have gotten so loose right there, I think I would have had a good run off the seven and I could have thrown a slider going into three. I just got so loose and lost so much time on that corner, man. I did it twice too. I, I got under him twice that good and messed up coming off of two. It got too slick on the bottom. But I was actually making it work pretty well. I'm very happy with how I did down here. Right there, I got pretty loose. The three kept getting a really good run on the outside. You just get the momentum. It's just such a wide damn. Look at that 14 car all bowed out. <laughs> His car was screwed. Why? I wouldn't even have stayed on the track driving like that. It would have cleared the three there, which is great. And where was it that I got back to like the seven and under him? Because I was trying to make that bottom work. It definitely was pretty good in three and four overall. Had a really good run down that back straightaway. He just gets the momentum on the high side. I wish that was like the last lap. That would have been a great finish, man. And right here, going into the second to last lap, I had a great I had a great shot. I should have just thrown a slider there, to be honest. But I got two sideways off of two, and that just lost it for me. That, that lost me that spot because I didn't have enough uh, time to catch back up to him. But I was, I was doing my damnedest to catch him. Got pretty close. Got to his bumper, basically, but...
All right, let's go and see what the hell happened with the 14, because how is there, like, no caution for whatever they're yelling about? Okay, so you go from 24-1 to a 25-2. What the hell happened? All right, the 2 just drives over the 14. How is there no caution for that, to be honest? Like, they're just racing hard there. That's fine. Who was the 2 car? That's the Ian guy that's talking down here. And then he just drove over him in that corner. That was just bad. He just over he just drove over the 14 in that corner, in my opinion. He's a little too low. The 14's definitely low there, and the two just pushes him up the track. That's just a dick move. Overall, in my opinion. Well, I thought he was saying something about the 10 too. Let's see what happened. So he goes low, that's fine. He comes up, he's in the slick. He straightens it out. He's coming off the corner fine. I, I think that he's, that he's talking about the 10 as well. Because the 2 definitely dicked him twice, but he was low on him in the straightaway. The 14 was definitely low on the 2 on the straightaway that uh, after he about got wrecked. I don't know how there wasn't a caution. He was 90 degrees sideways. <laughs> 10's getting a good run on the outside. The 14's too much in the slick, so the 10's probably going to get a good run here. Yeah, he gets all probably all the way up to his bumper here, I would assume. Yeah, he's going straight into the slick. That's just a bad idea in general. Tens on his outside. What happens? Tens a little low. 14 comes up into him, and then that's just... When you guys hit on the straightaway, that's bound to happen right there. And then his car is screwed from that. And then what happened to him right at the end? Damn, how did... I wouldn't even drive the car around. That's just, like, miserable at that point. Because something happened to him right there on the last lap, too. What the hell happened? I think he's, like, a couple laps down then. What even happened to him? I'm so confused. Because I know he got, like, just completely dumped on the last lap, but you shouldn't drive the car around like that. And I think he was blaming the 5 car, but that wasn't the 5 car's fault. That was the 8 altogether. But, he, yeah, I wouldn't even have been on the track in that point. Because your car just so bowed out, but also the 8 should have, like, just gone low. I don't know. The 8 should have gone low a lot earlier, but he also had the leader right there, too, on the last lap, so. Oh, well. It is what it is. I'm happy we had a pretty good race to start out this year, at least. We went from 5th to 3rd in that feature. Wish we wouldn't have lost that track position in the heat race. That's what really hurt us, because if we would have started 3rd, I think we would have had a shot there at the end at the leader. What was our fastest lap? A 23-6. What was the leaders? 23-5, 6-4. Pretty good lap. He had a 23-6 flat. He has two of those, actually. Nice. And then the other guy we were battling with, a 23-4-8-3. That was probably the fastest lap of the race. Nice. That's awesome. But yeah, congrats to the five. He ran good. Nobody really had to challenge him. And then the seven, three, and I had a great race. So definitely going to gain some eye rating being car number one, finishing third. Let's go see what we end up getting. All right, results are in. Started fifth, finished third, car number one. We gained 25. Hey, that's a good start to the year. Gaining some I rating. <laughs> Get back some of the I rating we lost. That's great. Uh, strength of field wasn't too high, 2,085. The leader, uh, he gained 78. He was, he was under 2,600, but he's in Australia. No wonder why he had such a thick accent. I thought it was Australian, but I'm not great at knowing accents, but I knew he had a thick accent, so... Pretty good race overall. Happy we didn't have any problems. I thought the three probably had the fastest lap. He had a four really early on, so that was good by him. He was, that was just a good race up front. I was happy with how that went, and hopefully we can have some more clean races like this going forward, and not like how we had yesterday in the limited late models, because that was a mess, so appreciate you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the race and maybe learned a little bit, and you could use that low line in three and four, like unlike everybody else is doing late in the race, and it actually works. It's just harder in one and two if you get stuck on the bottom. I would suggest maybe throwing a slider if you have the room, but I don't like throwing sliders a lot because I will fuck it up and probably smack the wall or them. So I usually don't, and I'll just stick to the bottom and cut my loss in that corner. But appreciate you guys for watching once again. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see some more racing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.